Welcome to Yellow Legged Hornet Week 2025. My name is Peter Davis and on behalf of the Animal and Plant Health Agency and the National Bee Unit, I'm going to give you an update on the current situation. I like to use a few photos. So on screen currently you see a yellow legged hornet fitted with a microtransmitter and also um, a large secondary nest that we removed from Tenterden on the 14th of August. As of Friday, the 29th of August, this was the position. <clears throat> so we've had 343 credible reported sightings in 124 different locations. To date, we have found 87 nests. You'll see that we've also sent in the bottom right hand corner, we've sent 344 samples uh, across to our lab for analysis. In the middle of the screen, you'll see the nest analysis, and that shows a proportion of the nests that have been either killed and removed, or just killed or still need removing. So you'll see that proportion there. And on the left hand side, you'll see a, a visual map of the UK, uh, and you can see where we've had uh, the nests so far. We've had over 13,000 sightings reported this year. These are reported either via the app, which is the majority, or some by email. These are triaged by the Centre of Ecology and Hydrology. And those that are credible photographs of yellow-legged hornet are sent through to the MBU triage team. These are then disseminated down through the incident commander and the ground teams, or to AHAT teams and members. In the weekend alone of the bank holiday, as you can see there, we had 62 uh, credible sightings come across that weekend. From the sightings, samples are either collected, if the reporter has a sample that they've already caught, or if it's a photograph, then we'll, we'll send an inspector and the inspector will catch a sample. And when that happens, we then deploy the baits in the area. And once we obviously get feeding hornets on the baits, we then track them to the nest. We do get a lot of sightings which are misidentified, mostly European hornets, which have been mistakenly identified to be yellow-legged hornets. This picture clearly shows the difference as they're feeding side by side in one of our bait stations. So on the left, a European hornet, I would say predominantly more yellow than, than black or dark. And on the right, a yellow-legged hornet, which is predominantly more dark than it is yellow and also featuring the yellow legs, as you can see clearly here, and the distinct yellow band towards the, the base of its abdomen. This map shows the current credible sightings in the south of England in 2025. Starting from the left, we have Dorset, moving across towards the right, we have go through Hampshire, into Surrey, West Sussex, East Sussex, and then Kent. You can see that Kent is uh, the highest number of sightings by far, especially by the, the southeast corner, Dover and Folkestone areas. The different colours um, tell us that they've either had just a photograph or an actual sample of a hornet to be collected and when it is collected. So as the previous slide depicted the sightings in the south of England in 2025, this slide depicts the nests that have been found so far. The green nests have been found, destroyed and removed. The amber, destroyed but not removed. And the brown, still to be destroyed and removed. This slide is just more of a close-up of the southeast so Sussex and Kent sightings in 2025. If we start in the top right hand corner at Ramsgate, we then move down through Sandwich and Deal. And as we turn the corner, you have Dover and Folkestone. It then goes a bit quiet along the coast and we come into Hastings along the bottom there. Further inland at Canterbury, Ashford and Maidstone have also had nests and sightings. You can also see if you follow the motorway is the M20 leads up to where it joins the M25 in Surrey.
This slide just shows the nests in the southeast, linked to the sightings on the previous slide. And you'll see the congregation on the coastal ports of Deal, Dover and Folkestone as we work round clockwise. As previously mentioned, the green nests have been killed and removed, the amber killed and not removed. And some of that is because some of these nests are in the ground or in building roofs, uh, in listed buildings, some of them. And then you get the brown, which are the most recently found, which will be killed and removed in the next few days. In the north of England, there's been two sightings to date. On the left hand side, you can see sightings and a nest found at Roncorn in Cheshire. And on the right hand side, slightly higher up at Langton in North Yorkshire. Both these sightings come in via the app and the nests were found within a few days of the sightings. This slide shows approximately 150 nests. Uh, and this is from 2023 until current in the southeast corner of Kent and Sussex. Again, you can see the majority of the nests are centred around Dover and Folkestone. This slide just shows the total number of nests of 196 since 2016. The government-led response to yellow-legged hornet is still in the eradication phase. This is funded by DEFRA, triaging is done by the UK CEH, track and tracing is done by APHA, um, led by the NBU. Nest destruction is, con is also part of APHA. In, in terms of the wildlife team, non-native species secretary and the National Bee Unit. We currently use chemical destruction insecticide to kill the nests and all the nests are removed by aid of tree climbers and cherry pickers. The nests are removed to give us the, the science behind the work um, and this is all conducted by Ferro Science Limited who check every nest and the DNA of all the samples to look for related nests. During this check-in each nest that we send in you'll see on this it says 10 of each light stage and each nest are tested and all individuals caught around the nest. This is good information for the ground teams as it tells us if any samples are caught nearby, whether they actually belong to the nest that has been found and not to another nest which has yet to be discovered. The yellow legged Asian Hornet teams and the coordinators and verifiers have been critical to our contingency response. Working closely with the MBU and APHA inspectors in terms of monitoring uh, and trapping in locations around nests, also in triage and reports that come in through their members and the local public. They've also been very active in raising awareness at events across the county to ensure that the public are well informed. Alongside the reporting app, which was developed in 2017, an ArcGIS track and tracing app was developed for use in the field by the inspectors on their phones and iPads. This is a screenshot uh, depicting the blue square at the bottom where the initial sighting was and an arrow heading off north. Further arrows are added as bait stations are moved and hornets are seen feeding and we follow down the line. You'll see um, the last arrow interjects the nest that was found. 1.2 kilometers away from the initial site and using the app everybody can get a good view of where bait stations are placed uh, where points of interest are in this case the green spots showing ivy bushes where hornets were seen to be feeding uh, to bait stations that are placed and then trajectories by following the line of trajectories and getting into, into crossing lines we can pinpoint the nest quite accurately in this occasion it was in a the back garden of a house just off of the main road. This slide is in two halves, although it depicts the same thing. On the left hand side, there's a sighting um, of the green square at approximately three o'clock. So the inspector arrives on site, places some bait stations, which are the blue numbered dots. And from those bait stations, we get hornets feeding 
if you look at the right hand side of the slide, you can see where the lines uh, triangulate onto a position, which is exactly where the nest was found. Progressing on from the track and trace and the mapping app that we use, we also now have our disposal mini transmitter tags. These have been developed by Robor Nature in the Netherlands, and we have in possession now of four of the kits where we can track to nests. These kits allow you to add a very small radio transmitter tag to a Hornet. Then you have handheld receivers, which you can then locate and follow the Hornet back to its nest. Once a nest has been found, the Hornets return back to the bait station where the tag can be removed and ready for the next nest. The use of these tags so far has helped us to find 17 nests in the last three weeks or so. Um, each of these finds, once the tag is applied to the Hornet or attached, the nests are usually found in less than an hour. This has been very useful in heavily wooded areas uh, with a good line of sight, but into a load of trees where you can't actually see which tree has the hornet nest. These tags allow us to pinpoint it really accurately and quickly. With the advancements in technology, then the training must follow. This slide just shows a group of APHA inspectors from across the agency being shown how the tagging system works, how to attach it to a hornet, and then how to follow it to its nest. This training session was in the park in the middle of Ashford in Kent. The large oak tree at the rear had a hornet bait feeding station where there was a ready supply of hornets for the teams to practice attaching the tags. And over the, the right hand shoulder, off in the distance, about 400 meters, there was a nest at the top of a sycamore tree, approximately 25 meters. These training sessions are invaluable to ensure that plenty of inspectors have the experience of using this equipment so we can disseminate it across the area and across the regions as required. We have already completed nine weeks of track and tracing. I estimate we have another nine to 10 weeks to go. And we are about halfway through what is an incredibly busy season. The inspectors from across APHA who have been working predominantly in the southeast are made up of inspectors from the National Bee Unit, Plant Health, Import Teams, Animal Health, the Wildlife Teams and then Native Species Inspectorate. Together these teams have been doing a great job and I know they will keep doing that until the end of the season. But they can only do this job if the yellow leg hornets are reported. So it's important that all of us tell everybody we know about yellow legged hornets and how to identify them. If the sightings come in, then we can find the nests and eradicate them. We need your help.